Kim Jong-un sentences Trump to death. Here are five ways Trump could kill Kim last week, North Korean state media called President Trump a hideous criminal sentenced to death by the Korean people. It's not a clever threat. After all, here are five ways the U.S. could kill North Korean leader Kim Jong-un in the event of imminent war. 1. Drop a bunker buster bomb on his head via B-2 flight operating with fighter escorts from bases in Japan, South Korea, or the Western Pacific. The U.S. could drop a super-penetrating bomb on Kim's head. One problem, if Kim did survive such an attempt, he probably won't be in a good mood. That explains why decapitation strikes of this form tend to be used only on the eve of imminent war. The last example of such an effort was the March 20, 2003, airstrike against Saddam Hussein. It failed, although Delta Force secured Hussein in a rat hole nine months later. 2. Launch a ground force operation reports in the South Korean press suggest that U.S. and South Korean special operations forces have trained for capture kill raids against Kim. While in the operation would only be carried out in the event of war, it might be more feasible than some presume. Consider that in a war situation, Kim would probably travel in a small group so as to mitigate any electronic and physical footprint that might be detected by light intelligence platforms. In turn, if he was located, the outcome would likely be similar to what Osama bin Laden faced on May 2, 2011. 3. Recruited North Korean assassin Palm Beach, Florida, is nicer than Pyongyang. Correspondingly, were CIA and South Korean National Intelligence Service targeting officers able to identify a greedy but perceivably loyal member of Kim's circle, they might also be able to approach him or her on their next foreign trip. Perhaps with the offer of $35 million, a house in Palm Beach, and a lifetime membership to a Trump golf club, this individual might be willing to kill Kim. The central difficulty here would be the assassin's exfiltration. To get away, the assassin would probably have to use a slow-acting agent. Alternatively, were the US or South Korea able to recruit a senior military officer to carry out the attack, that official might then be able to seize power after Kim died. 4. Introduce Kim to a thermonuclear reaction The most extreme solution would be to launch a nuclear strike against Kim. While this option would offer the highest probability of success, it would also risk many civilians being killed alongside Kim. At the same time, the international community would react negatively to any preemptive U.S. use of nuclear weapons. 5. Dennis Rodman imagined the scenario as an inebriated Dennis Rodman sings happy birthday to Kim. The North Korean leader smiles, clapping with glee. Suddenly, Rodman throws a basketball at Kim. The fat man smiles and catches it. Bang! The insides of this basketball do not